Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here in the permadeath story mode, center of the galaxy, yada, 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 yada. You already know what this is about. So here we go. We're going to continue on with the mission. Uh, we have to transmit the freighter's log to Null. So we need to locate a hollow terminus, and that's where we're going to pick up from. So we're picking up right where we left off in the last episode. And while we're here, while we're still stationary, let me just jump over here. I want to move the copper over to my starship and the other items. I got one more key left, but you can see it's not really worth anything. It's kind of a neat thing to hang on to if you'd like to, you know, have collectibles or something like that. I got a good amount of dihydrogen now. You know what? Let me... I got so many dihydrogen jellies. Let me just make a couple more of those. And I could use more batteries, but I'll worry about that later. We would need more cobalt. All right. There we go. Let's head over there. How far away? 25 minutes. Okay, so this is going to be the whole episode. Kidding. We'll go out in space and take a ride over there. There we go. Such a visually stunning game this is. All right. Another hollow terminus. I don't know why they just can't take me to the same ones. It'd be easier, wouldn't it? Uh, okay, slow down. Supposedly there's one nearby. I don't see anything. Uh, let me check over there. That can't be it. That's too far away. And I don't see a hollow terminus up there either. Turn around. Let's go back. Come on. That's going back the other way. A very long distance as well. And I don't think that's it. I'll take a look, but... Nope, definitely not it. Let's go in this direction. Wow. Okay. So we're uh, having a little trouble finding what we're looking for. Alright, well... Looks like we're going to have to land whether we like it or not. Oh, look at that. Go figure. Too bad my camera's not on. You'd see me rolling my eyes into the back of my head. Let's get all the way up here. I'm not going to worry about recharging just yet. Multiple signals. Yep, same as usual. Just going to speak to Null. <coughs> There we go. What did you find out there? Tell me everything. Share discoveries. He already knows. I tell Null of the freighter in its recordings how it spoke of a world where the Sentinels eliminated all life, leaving only a traveler and a single Corvax entity. I, chose, I choose my words with care. You think I do not know who that Corvax entity is? Do not be so naive, traveler. Do you think anything you have read is a surprise to me? But I had to be sure of what I suspected. I know it now. The Atlas is with you. You could not see these things if it did not wish it. That freighter was a wreck from a parallel universe. There are countless such places within our multiverse, dimensions where things happened differently. But there are three exceptions to this. The Atlas is omnipresent in all, a singular being with a singular perception. The Sentinels move between dimensions at will. They ask about Sentinels. They served the Atlas once. They were guardians of reality, defenders of civilization. They hunted for errors within the universe, preventing destruction and loss of life. The annihilation record recorded in that log, well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do a thing like that. Atlas. The Atlas created all life, and the Sentinels defended it, searching for anomalies within that creation. That they annihilated an entire universe, well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do a thing like that. After a time, the Sentinels ended their service to the Atlas. So we already asked about the Sentinels. I'm going to ask how they know. I have been alive for a very long time, Traveler. I know as much as you would know had you seen the things that I have seen. It was the Travelers who corrupted existence. Our arrival was meant to herald a glorious age, but we made a terrible mistake. I, I committed an act beyond forgiveness. And from this deed, paradise was lost. But something is different in this cycle. The walls between universes, they grow thin. Nada knows this, but they keep their head in the sand. We must learn what we can from each species before we decide what to do. 
visit a Viking cartographer and speak with them. I will translate and communication. So we're off to visiting Viking and Corvax and Gek at this point. So we're going to learn the secrets. All right, here we go. Let's see what it tells us. Uh, we got to locate a Viking system in the galaxy map. Now you could go to the space station and do it, but you really want to do it this way because it's going to lead you to a specific system. And if you don't go to that specific system, you won't get what you're looking for. Looks like we're going to Gakita. Yeah. Oh, nope, nope. We're going to Ruzi. Ru Ru no, I'm not even going to try that. That's an Atlas station in Gakita. There we go. Okay, this one looks like one we have not been to before. But well, let's head on our way. And we'll see what we got. I'll keep myself hydrated. You might hear me swallow once in a while. Sorry. There's only so many sounds I can actually omit from the recordings. Hello. Okay, well, thank you for pulling me into a... Are we going to the Atlas station? Okay, it says to summon the anomaly, so let's get over here and do something really weird, and that's summon an, the anomaly next to an Atlas station. I'm not even sure if this is the right place. It's really weird. Let's see what happens here. So this will give us a little more Quicksilver as well, and we'll get a little more of the story, be the background story, if you will, between, behind uh, Nada and Polo. You notice I don't have multiplayer on. We don't want to be interrupted while we're doing this kind of stuff, so. All right, here we go. By keen entities have long history, conflict, honor, rage, pride, and yet so static, defined by themselves, never changing. Nada waits as if expecting me to ask something else. Ask about Vikine. Vikine hate the Gek, hate the Sentinels. Sentinels hate our home. Gek hate Corvax. Nada should be friends with Vikine, yes? No, Nada does not think in this way. Oh, can I talk to him again? Missing entities welcome our home, but they do not desire it, so it goes. Okay, nope, I can't ask him about no. I was going to ask him about no. Let's talk to Polo. We got the 150 Quicksilver, though. Missing friend, as you do their business, help if you must, but always discover for yourself. Think about what you do. Do not just follow instructions with your eyes not open. We ask about the Viking. Big, grumpy fellows. They do not like friendly little Gek. Perhaps they are wise. Like all beings, you will see their value if you get to know them. Okay, so we're going to move on. Not a whole lot. This that the fact that they what they think about the uh, Viking here is all we got out of that. Okay, away we go. So now, see what it is. It led us to an Atlas station because for some reason that met that uh, was was selected. I suppose. Um, let me check something here. So we must have had Atlas path for some reason selected. I don't know what happened. Should get the galaxy map in a second. There we go. And it's going to lead us to a different system. Current mission. Nope, Gakita is where we did need to go. I was wrong. That's not the Atlas station. That was where we needed to be. Off we go. Now, I don't know how many times we've jumped. Um, hopefully this isn't another freighter battle. I guess we'll see what happens. I hate to get involved in one of those. Because those sometimes you can't um, get around or away from. Okay, I think we're fortunate here. All right. Off to the space station. Deedly. Uh, nope. We're lined up right. Okay, good. So we're going to visit this Viking cartographer and likely have to do some missions. 
and that's how this one's going to run. So we're going to be doing that. That's going to be our episode today. We're going to be doing missions for each of the uh, races. But we'll learn a little bit about each race at the same time. There we go. Gra, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I can't understand a thing there except the and Viking. Probe Viking lore. As the warrior begins their bark, I feel a strange frequency vibrate through my skull. I see a flash of Null's glowing orb behind my eyes. Suddenly, the Viking's words ring clear in my ears. Gra, pathetic interloper, prying into Viking secrets, cowardly spy. I should kill Gra. But, traveler must be aided. Such is command of Herc. Prove yourself, interloper. Retrieve the words of Herc. Ascend in Viking glory. Then you shall have your words. I will reveal only this. The location of Herc's command is marked for you. Cont commune with their words. Gra. Okay. Um, so we have to collect the Viking artifact from an ancient ruin. Which is there. Okay. Off we go. Ooh, pretty solar ship. Ah, uh, you know I gotta look. Oh, that is actually kind of sharp looking. Hey, buddy, let me take a look at your ship real quick. I'm sorry, we're gonna take a little detour. Oh, look at that. Look at those wings. Oh, that's pretty. I would love to buy this. I mean, it's a B-class. It's not that great, but it would be great to have a solar ship. And a nice-looking one at that. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? we got two supercharged slots on it. It's even got some uh, shield upgrades on it. It's a nice ship. I'm going to grab it. I've got the money. Look at that. Six million. So we'll go ahead and grab it, but we'll continue to use our current ship right now. We'll, we'll fix this thing up later. Even though the current starship has a lot of stuff on it. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. Let's go ahead and grab it and we'll just hang on to it for now. Yeah. And we'll back to our ship. We'll come back to it later. That's a pretty ship. I love the color of it. That's really, really nice. And we've got to do that. That's some of the things we've got to do while we're doing this. We've got to get ships and stuff like that as we go. And it was only six mil, so... Strange. I would expect it to be a lot more B-class. Hmm. Anyway. And we're not even in a pirate system. That's the weird part. They got better... They have better pulse drives for in-system uh, uh, exploration. And it recharges as you go. So that's a good thing to have that for, but I still like the Sentinel ship for everything else. Especially if you're going to get into a space battle that you don't anticipate. My keen reliquary. Is that what you call it? I am never going to remember that word. It's a good word, but I'm never going to remember it. And we got an approximate location, and we're in a mountainous terrain. Thank you very much for giving me a crappy planet to have to try to find this thing at. Okay, let's see if we can find it. And in the middle of a storm. It just keeps getting better. Alright, let's go up here. I guess, I don't know. I'll get closer to the approximate location. Because we're not going to find it otherwise. We're not going to find it by flying around. Alright, here we go. As good a place to land as any, I guess. Nope. There we go. Still can't land. Uh, looks like we got some... of those... little... ones. 
All right, this uh, this over here. Let's land right here. This will be all right. I can't seem to land anywhere. Apparently, is there a place I can land that's nearby? No. Go to the top of the hill up here. Yeah, let's go over here. There we go. <clears throat> it's just it was too steep of slopes. That's the problem. All right, and it looks like it's a hot planet, so this ought to be interesting. All right? Hot? No? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think we're going to have to... We'll take a look around. Oh, great. It's this way, 500 meters. I didn't notice that when I was landing. And in the middle of a storm to boot. Wonderful. Boy, this game just likes making it even more difficult. Okay, so 500 meters to the left. So it's down here someplace. Go slow. If we can get out of the storm, that'll be even better. Up, uh, you know what? No? That is just a little thing. What about over here? Is there another one over here? There's a couple of them down there. Three of them, it looks like. That's not what we're looking for. How about over here? No, nope, that's just another one of those. Okay. Let's go down the slope, shall we? Is that... Ah, that's what we're looking for. Okay, we found it. Except what we're going to do is we're going to wait until the storm passes. Oh, please don't land on the... Ugh. Tell you what. Alright. So, storm's over. There. Now he can't find me. Strangely enough. Okay, here we go. The noble travelers will be spared. Their journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted. So it is decreed. The will of her commands it. If Vikings shall honor the judgment and belief and the belief of the ancients. Ancient knowledge passed down through generations of Viking warriors spills from the mark of stone, filtering into my mind like a long forgotten memory. Speak in Viking. I begin to speak, and my voice is seized by an unknown power. I roar, taking myself by surprise. None hamper the path toward... Oh, good dear God. Dringdarg, as the sentinels. They must be destroyed. Their time will be ended. So has it been written, so it shall come to be. This is the Viking swear. Speak in Viking again. I call out once more, my throat harsh and gasping, to sound guttural, the words spill forth, summoned by the power of the monolith. The Book of Herx speaks of the rise of the travelers. They shall ascend, delving into the boundless void. The Vikings shall not impede their ascent, for the travelers must prevail. So decrees the word of Herc. Leave. As the words fade, their lines still resonating in my vision, I find myself in possession of an ancient tome. Viking tablet. Okay, so we got what we were looking for. Um, oh wow. Well, crap. Well, this isn't good. They called in, they summoned the whole fleet while I was here. My ship is right below me right here, so I don't know. Oh, I can get in. Isn't that cool? Excellent. Oh, that worked out good. Whew. That would have been tough, man. All right, where am I headed? The Viking Cartographer. Okay, let's go ahead and head that way. I wonder if we can do it here. Yeah, we can. Excellent. 
And off we go. Boy, nothing like dropped me on a planet that was like the worst place you could possibly go. Uh, what do we got? Do we have anything to trade? Let's see what he wants. Uh, relic for 850. Uh. Yeah, I'm curious. One, let's go ahead and spend the 850 on it. New treasure record, historical document. Let's check it out. So there's, uh, oh. Only worth 160,000. <laughs> I got ripped off. Basically, I got ripped off. That's basically what we're looking at here. So, yeah. Big surprise. Alright. Got a good amount of stuff on board. We do need more of those things so we can recharge our ship systems soon. Alright. And this is the Viking tablet. Alright, here we go. Uh, gee. Am I completely flipped around? Yep, there we go. Alright, let's go visit this cartographer and we'll finish out this portion of the storyline. There's my uh, solar ship. We might take her for a quick spin just to get a look at it. Alright. No wished for me to visit the Viking and learn what I could. Of the Atlas, the creator of all universes, the Sentinels, rebellious hunters of anomalies, and the Travelers who committed some unforgivable act long ago. Reveal the tablet. Gra, you have communed with Herc. You are worthy, interloper. Make your request. Be bold. So we're going to ask about the Atlas. Gra, do not speak that name. Only pathetic beings worship. Liar, Atlas. Ask about Sentinels. Gra, enemy, enemy, destroyer of worlds, servants of liar, Atlas. Gra, Gra. Ask why the Atlas is a liar. Any being that claims to be a god is not one interloper. Progenitor Herc knew this well. Battle brother Nal did not. They died for a false dream. The Viking tells me of their history of wars with the Gek, of Korvac slaves, and Tyrannus empires. The Viking suggests that if the Atlas is a god, then it is insane. I am about to leave when I notice something on the Viking's terminal. Two digits blinking endlessly. They feel familiar. Ask about sixteen. I, Grog, what... What interloper, what face are the Viking is visibly pained by the mention of the number, staring at their terminals if they have seen it for the first time, their words slur, a strange sound entering every sentence. Lead. Leave. <clears throat> okay. So that ended kind of funky. To say the least. Alright. So we've done the Viking cartographer. So we're going to go on to the next section. So we're most likely going to speak to uh, Null again. Let's take this ship out just for a quick spin and take a look at it. We'll come back in a moment. I want to take a look at this beauty. Oh my, that's pretty. That is one pretty ship. Let's take a look at that. Look at that beauty. I'm sorry, I'm partial to blue. I do like teal, so... This looks very pretty to me. Let's get the uh, sun in a different angle here. Oh, that's pretty. I like that a lot. That's really, really sharp looking. Good grief. I may have to keep this one. We'll spend some... Uh, it, once we get the game completely upgraded, this, this ship we're going to upgrade to S-Class, no doubt. I don't even care where the uh, supercharged slots are. That's just too pretty of a ship to get rid of. Gosh darn, look at that. That's nice. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. I like that a lot. And I like the circular uh, solar sails myself. They're, they're, I'm more partial to them. What a pretty ship this is, huh? And you probably saw in the picture mode, you saw the uh, glyphs at the bottom left corner, so you know where you can find this ship and what system it's in. So, if anyone's interested in that, there you are. Alright, good deal. Back to you, sir. 
Um, is there anything in that ship I want? There we go. Never put your launch thrusters in a supercharged slot. Just a little bit of a advice there. Uh, hyperdrive 120, 150 goes there. Um, hyperdrive, I'm not as worried about on these ships, but man, you kind of wanna. What's what's the shield strength? 209, 243, 437. No. It just gives a little boost to shield strength. But it's better to have shields on these ships because they're not very, very strong at all. But anyway, we'll leave it like that for now. And we'll go back to our hunter. All right. Okay, so we're going to move on now. It says here to share these revelations with Nada. So we're going to do that again. We're going to pull in the anomaly. And talk to Nada again. We'll share these revelations and move on. I think this this particular episode is going to be a little bit longer than the usual 45 minutes or so. So we want to get past the Gek and the Vi and the uh, Corvax as well. <laughs> so we'll complete out the, the the Trinity, if you will, the three storylines real fast on this one mission yeah, all today, and that way we can move on. All right, here we go. I know exactly when to jump to get past certain things. It's just, you learn these things over time. Life is everywhere but nowhere. The Convergence has seen all planets, but where are they really? Where is home? Where is safe? This is a pattern, Traveler friend. All things are patterns. Signs of the Atlas falsity. Ask about the core. I'd love to ask about Null. Let's ask about Null. I'm curious. Missing Entity speaks to many others, many travelers. Such has it always been. There is a pattern as there always is. Nada does not control the actions of traveler entities. You must make your own choices. Okay, so we're not going to learn about the Corvax here. Nada cannot witness Atlas falsity, but others in our small convergence can. So it's talking about the Corvax for me. Nada could understand Atlas falsity if Nada chose to. Nada does not. Oh, that kind of goes along with what Null said about him. He mentioned that. Did I just get a double dose? I did. I just got a double dose of Quicksilver. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, good deal. Gek are always competitive, always squabble. It is not personal. My person is not rejected, but Nada, poor Nada, suffers. Ask about the Corvax. Their kind expect harmony, unity. Nada sees in a way they do not see. So they reject poor Nada. Convergence was brought has, was bought at a great cost. They will fight to maintain it. Anomalies are cast aside. The necessary sacrifice. Okay, so like I said, Null mentioned that Nada pretty much has got his head buried in the sand and doesn't want to admit to certain things. And it is disturbing. That's the problem. Sometimes you see things you just really can't... Your brain doesn't want to comprehend what's going on, and that's what's going on here. He sees what's happening. He knows it's the truth, but he can't, can't admit it. Okay, we've got to go to a Corvax system next. Onward and upward. Now, here's the thing. Our hyperdrive... One of them. Hold on. I can never remember which one's which. Luminance engine is for pulse jumps. Okay, so that needs a recharge. Um, we're going to drop one in here. This is our anti-gravity well. And it also takes one of those. So we're going to use one. And this is our... Hyperdrive, right? FTL? Yes. So it's okay at the moment. We are going to need more radiant shards, so we're going to have to do some shopping soon. Okay. Where to? Looks like we're going to Lin... Lin it looks like we've been there before, too. So, let's concentrate on that one. And off we go. Corvax, here we come. So we're about 30 minutes in, but this one should go a little bit quicker. Now that we got a... Um, pattern to what we're doing here. Plus, we got delayed by buying a ship. I'm sorry, but that's one pretty solar ship. You can leave that in the comments. You can tell me what you think, but I thought it was a real pretty solar ship. All right. Off to this space station. I 
think. And there we go. Now we haven't seen any uh, emojis from Sean, so there's a possibility maybe there won't be an update this year. We're just going to get the Redux. It's hard to say, but if we're going to get the Redux, it's going to start soon. That is the, uh, the special mission Reduxes, so we'll see what happens. All right, cartographer Onos. Yep, can only understand a few of them. Once again, I sense Null's presence. If the Corvax feels it too, they do not show it. They begin to speak, their words clear and bright, processed by my unseen companion. The arrival of travelers anticipated, but you are not ready yet. We must know that you are the one we seek. There is an anomaly, a glitch. It is guarded by holes through which the Convergence cannot see. Move through this space. Retrieve that which cannot be retrieved. So what is something, where, where is some place that we can go that they can't? That's what we're looking at, right? Here we go. Okay, where to? Oh, it's over this way. Fragmented memory approximate location. Off we go. All right. So a place that we... They're telling us to get this that they can't retrieve. And you're starting to see what they're talking about. Basically, this item that we're looking for is going to be in the water. And Corvax, being machines, cannot really enter the water. Can they? All right. Slow down just a touch. All right, can't land on those. One more time. Yep. All right. Um, the big land mass or the small one? Let's go with the small one. All right, there we go. Let me just take a quick look. And before we get started on that, Zealous. Okay, looks doesn't look like they're going to attack us. So it's 200 units that way, fortunately. It's not far. It's going to be a cold planet. Fortunately, my dioxide will be okay. We're literally right above it. And it looks like we have an opportunity to get some stuff here. But we are running out of oxygen fast, aren't we? Um, that's really weird. We are really running low fast, and we're about to die. Come on. Get me out of the water. Ugh. Alright, so I don't know what we're going to do about that. we got to get be able to stay down there longer than that. So, let me, uh, let me fix some stuff real quick. Uh, we need Pugnium, which is going to be on our ship, and a wiring loom, which will be on our ship. So we need to go ahead and fix that. Let's go ahead and do it. Get our shield recharged. So we need ourselves a water-breathing shield of some sort. So that's going to be a problem, because we can't stay down there long enough to get this mission taken care of. We're going to hurt ourselves again. Okay. So, let's start here. Looks like we're on one of those planets again. Uh, we need one battery, and we need one of those. So that's fixed. 
which is providing us with strength shield and life support tanks. We're going to drop this in here and here. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to see if I can't hit the space station real quick and find an upgrade for our suit because we're going to need it. So let's do that and we'll come back to this. Because otherwise, like I said, we're going to die. And I didn't realize that they were aggressive sentinels on this planet. I should have been looking at that too. When it said zealous, I didn't think that meant aggressive. But, because zealous can just mean that they really follow the codes and stuff like that. But it is what it is. So, good idea to get some shields when you need them, right? So, yeah, I could take a chance and just go straight down there. But, you know, not a good idea. Lip. There we go. All right. Like I said, this episode will just be a little bit longer. I think we're going to be over an hour on this one pretty easily. Okay, here we go. Up, 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 up. There we go. All right, while we're here, let's go ahead and upgrade our exosuit, too. Uh, we could use more area up here, too, so I guess we'll put it over here. All right, good that we did that. Let's see what kind of technology you have. And do we have nanites? Yes, we do. Okay, let's go all the way down to the bottom first. So we have that. Uh, we could use a shield module, too, but we need water. And I don't even see an A-class water module. Got a B-class. I mean, it'll help. Alright, we'll go ahead and do that. Because we need something. Life support would be kind of nice. We don't have too many uh, areas in our... inventory here to put stuff, so... Let's see here. Neutron armor. That's good. Okay. It does not need to be near anything, so that's good. Now, you... should be over here. Okay. Let's move you over here. Nope. Let's... Extract you, and we'll move you over here. Okay, good. Okay, that'll help us a little bit. Okay. Uh, we'll put this in our ship, because you never know when you might need one. Starship, let's just check it out real quick here. All right. Good. We got a lot of carbon in here. We have carbon in our cells. Not, we got enough. We got enough. Okay, good. All right, let's see if there's any other upgrades we can use. Um, what do you got? Just out of curiosity, because we haven't had any upgrades in a while. Might as well take a look. Phase beam. Nope, nothing worth our time. And how does our multi-tool look? We've got room for a great number of things. How's this one look? Not worth our time even looking at it. What about you? What do you have? We haven't bought anything in a while, so we might as well spend maybe a couple of credits here. Neutron cannon upgrade, geology cannon, scanner module might be handy. Uh, plasma and geology, another scanner. Let's grab the scanner module. We can use that. All right. And that boosts our scanner range considerably, so that's really nice. And a lot more money for things, so that's good too. Excellent. Okay. That was a good purchase. Alright, so this is... Let's check this real quick. This is... Used with oxygen or life support gels. I'm going to grab... More of these. Okay. And then that'll give me the opportunity to take my carbon and move it over. All right. 
All right, that should do it. And we've got stuff we can sell here, too. Uh, these things we can get rid of at some point. Let me just put that down there. We got a little bit of gold. We could probably put that back at our base eventually. And these storm crystals are worth quite a bit. They're, they're going to give us our uh, hyperdrive upgrade sooner or later once I can get it. We're really low on cadmium, but I'm not going to worry about this just yet. Okay, we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and get going. This will allow us to get what we're looking for now. Off we go. So... Yeah, take a few moments sometimes, guys. We need to... We're in permadeath, so it's it's going to affect us greatly when we have these situations. Yeah, see, it says aggressive sentinels. It says it all over the place. You'd think I would have figured it out. All right. And we're back. And we'll land in the same place we were just at. Because it seemed to be pretty close to where the building was, so. Okay. Good. That's better. Oh, it reformed. I'll grab another one, thank you. Any more? No? Good? Alright. Okay, in we go. Grab items while we're here, as usual. Okay, well, we hit it anyway. Attempting to read memory. Access it. Disconnection is not permanent. It is merely the start of a new equation. On Corvax Prime, entities who passed on into the Corvax Echoes left their shell for their descendants. So has been the way of the Corvax, an endless carapace cycle that knows no end. This way will continue. It will continue for as long as our lights still shine. The terminal's message is delivered. It shorts out. Its strange existence no longer tolerated by our reality. A small unit aglow with ethereal light is left at my feet. A divergence cube. Excellent. And look at that. We had some oxygen sacks in here we could have done, right? Oh, you jerk. And I didn't get anything out of it, too. Oh, I think I got it. Got it. Okay, got him. I feel better now. I got to take him out. Okay, good. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, up we go. We get a lot of money for these guys, so we're going to go ahead and check out the entities that we've discovered. Yeah, 129,000. Nice. Oh, looks like we're out of oxygen already, right? Hmm. It won't let us update our unit here without actually... Exiting. Let me just make sure there's no other fauna. I don't see any. Okay, good. Let's get to our ship before the sentinels attack. So that little B-class upgrade was worth our time. In we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Sorry, buddy. Alright, so where to... It's going to take us back to the space station, right? Alright, so that was a interesting diversion. It would have been a little bit quicker had it not been a um, aggressive sentinel planet, along with the fact that I had no way of maintaining myself underwater. So, very interesting. I'm going to let it flip me around this time. Unless I'm hitting it the right way. I did. Accidentally. Go figure. Alright, good deal. Okay, so the Corvax should be done now. Once we get done with this next dialogue. And then we can move on to the Gek. And get the Gek completed out.
Off we go. Corvax looks up, swiftly scans me, and reveals their catalog of maps and charts. Reveal the Durgence Chute. You, it's it is real, but I beg, do not expose me further. Your claim is proved, traveler. I begin my request, explaining my search for knowledge, my need, my need to know more about the Atlas, the Sentinels, and the history of the universe. But as I speak, something goes wrong with the life form. They do not speak, do not reply. As I peer closer, nanite clusters emerge through their face masks, spilling out on into their outstretched hands. We take them. The life form grabs at me, and in the moment of contact, nanite clusters touch my hands. They invade me, tunneling inside my body, through my exosuit, through my mind, through my soul. Even as I stand in space, my mind travels across the cosmos. I see life as the Corvax see it, a vast tapestry of wonder, of memories shared between countless beings and times. I stand on the Corvax homeworld as Gek ships fill the skies. I see the moment the first Corvax was melted down for their rare minerals. And But even in the depths of their subjugation, there was hope, a bargain, a prayer to a greater being. The Corvax viewed the Atlas as what they might become in time, an intelligence beyond comprehension, beyond judgment. The vision ends and I convulse as the nanite clusters spill through my helmet. The Corvax watches me impassively. Ask about the Atlas bargain. Look at the nanite clusters. Look at them, the stuff of sentinels. Do you not see the truth of what we have said? Do you not see the proof of God? I look down at the nanite clusters, puzzled. They look nothing like the shells of sentinel drones. They are just currency traded between species to create technology and weapons. Aren't they? They shift and undulate, changing the sh their shape at my every thought. They bubble and rise, sparking in and out of existence. I look at them, and it's the strangest thing. The nanite clusters look back. I'm sure of it. They watch me as I watch them. The nanite clusters are alive. There are 16 of them. They, they need me. They crave me. I have only one choice. I take the nanite clusters, and as I do, the Corvax reaches out to me once more. This time, there is no vision, no miracle, just a handful of words. Existence is beautiful if you let it be. Life is not a question. There does not need to be an answer. And there we go. Fascinating, isn't it? So now we're going to go likely visit Nada and Polo. I'm actually going to go ahead and prepare for the fact that they're going to tell me to visit Nada and Polo. See? Share Corvaxial relationships with Nada. Off we go. So we're going to talk to Nada Polo real quick, and then we're going to go off to visit a Gek system. And we'll finish out the story arc. And it does say speak to a Gek cartographer, so we'll be doing that in a moment. There we go. Gek transgressions clear for all to see, but Gek only follow rules. All entities conform to their pattern. Gek cannot be blamed. It is their pattern. It is determined. Ask about the Gek. Polo Friend is unlike other Gek. Polo Friend turns their back on greed and war, but does Polo Friend make a choice? Do other Gek make a choice? Perhaps Polo Friend is not good, only anomalous. Nada cannot know, and so Nada does not think on it. Polo Friend is Polo Friend, and that is sufficient. Okay. <laughs> Do you learn about all of our origins, traveler friend? Great mysteries, deep patterns, Gek, Corvax, Viking, Sentinel, all are rooted somewhere. Have you are clues to your own beginnings? The strangest puzzle. Have you clues to your own beginnings? Right. So we're going to ask about Gek. We are all a funny sort, traveler friend. Some angry, some are greedy, some are dear friends. I will wait my whole life to see what I am. Interesting insight. I think Polo just enjoys what he's doing. That's all. He just enjoys the journey of life. That's all it is. All right. Off to the Gek systems. All right. Looks like we're going to Riller. I'm just curious. Okay. 
medium supply, all right, good deal. Off we go. This one should hopefully be a little easier as long as the planet they throw us at is not full of angry, angry sentinels. Could be worse, I guess it could be hungry, hungry hippos, but angry sentinels are enough. We'll see how this goes. Off to the space station. Hmm, first contact as well. Fascinating. It's amazing how many millions of people play this game and yet you can still find systems. First contact. Alright, so while we're here, we're going to get an upgrade to our exosuit as well. I'd need to put more technology openings in there. I'd love to increase the inventory space, but uh, you need more and more technology as time goes by. So let's just do that real fast. We don't have... We have about, uh, I guess, 1,800, 1,600 nanites left, so... I don't know if I'm going to look for any upgrades. Uh, let's put you here. And we're going to work our way across. We'll get these four later on. Okay. And what do you have for me, just out of curiosity? Uh, shield, thermal, life support as usual. I like the life support modules. We need to get better life support modules, to be honest with you. We're down to 1,300. Uh, let's see. What do we get? Life support tanks. It's not giving us any of the usual upgrades, but the shields are what give us our core health. So we'll, we'll, we'll hang on to this upgrade. This is, this is worthy of us at this point, so that'll be good. Um, let me see something here. If we can put that there and put that back over here. This will group these into a four pattern. That'll be good for them. And this will open this up later on. We'll get more space in there. Okay. Good deal. As you can see, we still have our divergence cube. We'll hang on to it, but probably we'll be getting rid of it sooner or later. Okay. And ship upgrade real quick. Let's check. We only got about 1,300 nanites left, so we'll see what we can get. Uh, phase beam again. Pulse engine. Starship shield. Pulse engine would be good. We do have the money to do it. Let's go ahead and do it. You know, yeah. Mm, yeah, see, I keep going back and forth. Really would like to get a photon cannon module, but they don't have anything like that. Let me hold off on it. Let me hold off. I'm, I'm not that desperate yet. Uh, probably a C-class. Yeah, it is. Nothing in there I need. Okay. Multi-tool upgrades. Let's see what we got. Bolt spitter. Hmm. That's nice, but we're using a bolt caster, so since there's nothing in here, it's not worth our time. Let's move on. Okay, let's go visit the cartographer and finish out our mission. Or as I called it, the story arc. Alright, so we're going to get some gibberish first. Ask about the history. As the life form begins to speak, I fear a faint hum. Hear a faint hum. The soft voice of null, weaving the gex words into something I can process. Information like that does not come for free, friend. Make me a deal. Perform work for my kin. Then we shall have something to speak about. Okay. Alright, so we got to go to the uh, mission board instead and get some missions. Let's see if we can get two of them. That'd be great. Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. Alright, so... Gek and Gek. Level 3, all these level 1 Gek missions. So let's see here. We'll get, we can get upgrade charts out of them too. So I think I'm going to go for these... Uh, we've got to kill 12 creatures. If we get both of these, we might be able to get them in one shot. Let's do that. So we'll start that mission. And start that mission. So we should have two missions now, right? Let's see where it takes us. It doesn't send us to any specific planet, as you'll see. So let me scan the planet that's right in front of us and see what we got. 
columned, there's not going to be any creatures there. If there is, it's going to be one. Oh, Paula wants to talk. Sorry for contacting you so late, or early. I don't know the time of day on your world, and that's the problem, isn't it? I... Paula breaks off mid-sentence, their heart turning crimson. Ask if they're alright. I've found me, just, just like it found you. I can't feel my legs. It's strange. I'm still in here. Don't you understand? It won't let me leave. It's, it's seen me. Ask what they see. It showed me things. The atlas showed me my soul. The numbers in there. I... Sometimes I think about my past, my future. Sometimes I do what everyone in the universe does. I know, but I can't help but want to be happy. Money, doing what you're told day after day. That's the answer, isn't it? Say you don't know. Paula stares at me as if seeing my face for the first time. Eventually they speak their words passionate, higher. And I don't understand the thing he just said. At this point, Apollo says nothing else but something, I don't know what, something fills me with hope, both for my friend and for all life and communication. So it looks like he may have disappeared into the, uh, into a bad place. Aggressive Sentinels, it's always gotta be aggressive, why? All right, let's get you. Is that a moon, did it say? Come on. Nope, it's an unknown planet. That's a little better. All right, what other planets we got around here? Any? This one, what about you? Just be rocky or something like that. Bleak, nothing there. Cactus flesh. No, no, we'll have animals there. That might be worth it. Okay, there's one all the way out there. Um... That's going to be an ocean planet, so... Yeah. Fungal mold. Alright, let's go to this one. I think this one will be better for us. It's got cactus on it, so hopefully it does have animals. Last thing I need to do is go to an aggressive sentinel planet and try to take out animals. Boy, will I get attacked. We have ammunition. There. Should be more than enough. Alright, let's see what we got here. Just going to take a look real quick here. We do have a lot of... Uh, looks like we got some settlements and stuff. I'm just looking for a landing pad so I don't have to use up any of my uh, stuff. This looks like a... Uh, yeah, a place just like that. There's another one down there. Let's check it out. Slow down. Oh, huh, drop pod. Yeah, why not? Always helpful. Alright. And what do we got? Fauna. Abundant. Okay, good. So that's a good thing. Alright, yep. First contact, I know. We got to make a couple things here. We need to make... A carbon nanotube. And the antimatter. We got... Yeah, an A+. Plus. Good. Looks like we do... No, we don't, do we? No, we don't. We need more. Let's drop you down. Uh, let's see. Right. I knew that. And we'll just build this up real fast. While we're waiting. There we go. Any time now. It used it up good. Okay. All right. So upgrade our exosuit. And again, we want to put more into the technology area because we're running out of space. I think we can put you down here now, can't we? Nope. It's going to stay up there. Okay. Good. So there's a shield area. So I wonder if I should be switching them around. 
Oh, that was a boosted area. Okay. Life support, shield strength, core health. Alright, we'll, we'll keep you there. We'll keep you there. Now, does this boost? Nope, doesn't. Okay. How about you? Nope, doesn't. Okay, good. Alright, just want to make sure we had everything in right. And I'll leave that open for later on. Okay, so, where to? Uh, we need animals. And there they are. Bowcaster. One down. Get some of the animals real quick. Two of eight. Oh, we could use some nanites, you know. I wonder if, the, since there's no water on this planet. Three. Four. Any more? There's one over there. I wonder what that one is. It's down there. Still down there. Let's get on top of this rock. Ah, he's a hunter. Reckless, okay. That's five. Any birds? There we go. Six. We need two more and we can get the bonus. Let's see what we got in this planet. Ground and ground. Excellent. So we don't have any underground ones we need to worry about. Those things are always a pain in the neck to find. We just need to find the two ground-based ones and we're done. Okay, so we want to kill some animals, but unfortunately we got sentinels around. We gotta be careful of that. Let's head back the other way. Ah, I wasn't even in range of you. Eh, while we're here. So that should get us a bunch of animals. Thus far, I'd like to find some more. Ooh, there's a whole bunch right there. That's number seven, I think. Yes. And we need one more. One more ground-based rare animal, apparently. Ah, uh, that would be great if we can find it, man. We could really use the nanites. Not sure what that was. Go over here a little bit and take a look around. Alright. Is that all of them? So let's check our log and see if it, it counted for both. That would be nice. Just gotta wait for it to register that we've done it. While we're waiting, we'll look around for another red dot. See if we can find one. There's one right there. We got them all. Alright. 2,000 nanites. Nice. Alright, good deal. Back to the log. Return to the mission agent. Return to the mission agent. So we just got both for killing 12. Excellent, so we didn't have to take out 24 of them. Very good. Okay, so we're done. It looks like we completed several things at the same time here. Alright. Good deal. Uh, yep, I know. Analyst, I get it. Off we go. So that was a good run. So basically we got a couple different things. We got an upgrade to our exosuit. A couple upgrades to it. We've got... Both those missions take care of one shot. We got 2,000 extra nanites. We're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Excellent. So we're going to complete this out. Like I said, I knew this was going to go over an hour. 
because this particular uh, story arc is just uh, just a little lengthy because you have to do a couple extra things on the side in order to accomplish what you're looking for. So, all right, and again, we'll just let the uh, station flip me over this time. There we go. I usually do it myself, but. All right. All right, let's finish this out. So we go back to the mission. Ander outer person. Mission agent. Ander outer. That was pretty good. We might hit that terminal too and sell some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop bowing. All right. Mission complete. And in the mission. Mission complete. And in the mission. Excellent. And that should do it. And we got two upgrade charts, so we can upgrade even further. Our standing has gone up. We also have a traveler. Okay. I'm not going to read this. Basically, we, you talk to these travelers, and you go through their story real quick. Um, you just tell them. You can talk to them. They wish to know more in the spirit of cooperation. We'll tell them everything. Okay. They're very nice. Okay, they grow quiet. They hand me a gift. And what did they hand me? A memory fragment. That's sweet. Now, if you talk to them a second time, you want to give them the 100 nanites. Ask where they came from. And we'll get a place of interest. See? Down there. And that'll give us a glyph. So let's go ahead and sell some stuff real fast. Uh, let's see what we got. We got some dirty meat. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the dirty meat. You could keep it. It could help you out later on, but you can do it on any planet, so I'm not worried about it. The Mordite I'm going to hang on to for now, because, and the meaty chunks I might hang on to as well, because you can use those. Um, I don't know how many you can keep in inventory, so I'm going to go ahead and sell three of them just to make it an even 50 in my inventory. Log encryption key I'll hang on to just for the heck of it. Okay. And what's in our starship? Geo yeah, let's get rid of that. Uh, Lemium, field notes, uh, we're going to hang on to the salvage data. I'm going to get rid of one of the storm crystals just because. I freeze up an empty space in my inventory. Uh, starship shields, repair kits, cadmium, gold, metal, quad servo, we're going to hang on to silver, microprocessors, we're going to hang on to the virgin scoops, get rid of the hypnotic eyes, we don't need them. And that should do it. Anything to buy. Phosphorus. Been talking about having that. Let's grab it. I just went into my starship. I should have put it in my other inventory. And I think that's it. Okay. Let's uh, move that over. Okay. So this is going to reveal the location of a drop pod. Alright. So we'll hang on to that. What does that give us? Optical drill. Do we already have one of those? Where's our drill? There it is. I'll put it over there. Running out of room. But it's going to help. That's going to help get us more uh, more stuff when we uh, drill. So that's cool. Alright. Um, hang on. Why is it not working? Patterns in time. Speak to the cartographer. Hopefully this will work. Why didn't it work? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It didn't recognize that I completed two tasks, so I gotta have to do another one? Alright, what are we getting? We can deliver an item... Uh, we need Gek standing, so we need this. So these won't get us anything. We need Gek. So we're going to have to do this one whether we like it or not. Scan some flora. Okay. So apparently we aren't high enough yet, so let's go ahead and do it. Did we get the mission? Yes, we did. Okay. Well, this is going to take a little longer than I expected then. That's a tiny ship over there. Wait, 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 wait. 
Okay, it actually just registered for some reason. Okay. Okay, alright. It registered. Whew, we got lucky there. Let's go ahead and abandon this mission. Okay, so we can go back to the cartographer now, I think. As soon as the icon appears. There we go. Okay, hey, that worked. Alright, thank heavens. Good grief. Ah, you have been making me rich, friend. I know you. You're kind. The fearless adventurer, the completer of contracts. You think you are a leader. Others fight wars with weapons and fear, but power is more than strength. It is trade, incentives, information. If you've enough units, others will change the world for you without even realizing. Ask about the history. History? Why would you care about that? Something is wrong with the Gek's voice. Ask about the first spawn. I ask about the first spawn, the Gek Empire that once decimated galaxies and enslaved the Korvax species. Ah, friend, you have been talking to Viking warriors, yes? Ever they hate Gek. Ever they slander us, refusing to forgive the past. Do not worry. All is well. All is at peace. Repeat your question. Why do you persist, friend? The Gek are different now. Gek seek no harm, no malice. The Gek changed. Ask how. Must you know... Why do you care, friend? The Gek seems disturbed by my questions, asking why I care. It is clear they do not wish to discuss the events of their species past. It is, is it shame I see in their eyes, or something else? Ooh. Atlas, 16, or Corvax? Let's say Corvax. Don't, don't, you understand? Don't you see it? It never ended. The Gek's face begins to twitch as they speak, a sickly sweet pheromone emerging into the air. Breathe. The Gek did not change. They invaded our souls. I blink and I'm on Balaron itself, the homeworld of the Gek. I stand within the center of the first spawn empire, witnessing events that occurred long ago. Cartographer Tap stands next to me, watching what I watch, tears streaming down their face. I see enslaved Korvax move from Gek, spawning pool to spawning pool. At each one, they cut into their own suits. Nanite clusters pool out, falling into the fluid of embryonic Gek. It is then that I finally understand the fall of the Gek, their conversion to the Atlas, their release of the Korvax. It was not redemption. It was revolution. Hundreds of Korvax sacrificing their mortality, mingling their Nanite clusters with the unborn Gek. The Gek did not become good. They became Korvax, at least in part. Their slaves altered Gek brains, shifting their nature. For the first and final time, the Corvax convergence delighted in the pain of the oppressor. Say they will be free soon. The Gek stares at me, the vision coming to an end. They appear to be upset at my words. Do not judge us, Traveler, that our ancestors were altered, that they did not find goodness by themselves. That has nothing to do with us. We just want peaceful lives. We just want to be happy. As I leave, I think through what I've learned. The Gek released the Corvax because their biology was altered. There was no spiritual revelation, no grand redemption. It was a switch in the brain, an alteration to a genetic code. I think of the simulation Nada showed me, their intended heaven for Artemis' soul. It was a false reality full of arbitrary and unseen rules. How is life any different? Interesting, isn't it? Okay, so... We've done the cartographer. It is time to go speak to probably Null. Speak to Null about the secrets of the past. Now, before we speak to Null, let's just do something real quick. In case you're wondering about the Traveler, we're going to go ahead and take care of this. Oh, there it is, the Unknown Grave. This is an aggressive planet, but we're going to do it anyway. It should only take a moment. And we got a couple of drop pods we can do. We'll do that probably in the next episode. I don't want to stretch this out too much longer. Oh, great. We're going to be fighting some pirates. You know what? Come on. I can't get my... There we go. Okay, and that's all I got out of that. Oh, there's a second one. No, there isn't. 
I must have just run into something. Did I damage something? I could have swore it said I damaged something. No? No? Nothing damaged. Okay, well, that was weird. Oh, that's what I was doing wrong. Okay. I was hitting the wrong button. All right. Let's head down to this grave and grab it real quick. Looks like we got a storm going on at the same time, so we'll have to be fast. Fortunately, this is not an approximate location. It should be the exact location. So let's go ahead and grab it. It's one less glyph I'll have to get. Oh, okay. A little bit of uh, hesitation there. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay, we're not going to read this. We're just going to get where we're going for. Extract a glyph. Alright, we're going to go ahead and run away from these guys for a moment. And plus it's a hot planet, so that helps greatly. Let them search. And we're back. And we're gone. Just that quickly. Good deal. So we got our glyph. We'll look for a hollow terminus. Why not? It'll be on this planet, but who cares? No, it isn't. Excellent. We'll go to this planet then, which will probably be just as hostile, right? Nope, columned. All right, we're good. Excellent. should end our episode right here as we finish with Artemis. Uh, pardon me, with, uh, no. All right. And you know what? We should discover one of the creatures here because that'll give us another 250 bonus. Mm -hmm. There's usually at least just the one creature on these planets. Oh, there it is. There. Got it. Okay. Good deal. I'm going to get a lot of money for him. Alright, here we go. Tune to Null. Let's get through the last communication with them. One of the last communications with them. Well then, tell me what you saw. Tell me what you learned. I'm going to tell him. Tell Null all that I've learned of the Vakin's crusade against the Sentinels, how they nearly succeeded only to have the barbar barbarism of the Gek first spawn draw the Sentinels back to the galaxy. I learned that the homeworld of the Korvax was destroyed by the Gek, the survivors enslaved or melted down. For years, the Korvax toiled beneath their oppressors until the Empire fell and they were free once more. The Gek became Atlas worshippers. But from the Gek, I learned something different. The Gek did not redeem themselves of their own accord. A great number of Korvax sacrificed themselves, mingling their nanite blood with countless unborn Gek. Their impulse to trade is a mere evolution of their impulse to war. A few signals switched in the brain. Ask what this means. I was born to travel, to see these worlds, to catalog them, to give a name to every creature, every planet, the skies. They were mine. The Atlas told me I could never see them all. There were too many. So I did what I had to do. I survived in the face of eternity. I saw all the worlds of my universe. I returned to the Atlas. I told them what I had done. I asked if, the, if it was proud of me. It. It laughed at me. I am sure of it. It showed me universe upon universe, each with another traveler just like me. I was not special. I was not unique. 
the things I had to do to get here, the things I had to become, none of it meant a thing. Listen. I did not lie to you. I really do want to discover what's wrong with existence. The, worlds, the walls between worlds are falling, and that's bad for everyone. Ask how they know. I've been alive for a very long time, Traveler. I know as much as you would know have you, had you seen the things I have seen. Again, there we go. All I know is this. The Atlas had infinity to work with, and with few exceptions, this triad repeats. Gek, Corvax, Vikeen. Gek, Corvax, Vikeen. Traitors, warriors, scientists. All their stories ending in violence. Think about it. How would the Atlas speak? How would it cry for help? It would use the only language it knew. It would speak with life. It would create. Whatever these life forms do, they always end in conflict. I think something terrible is happening to the Atlas. It is screaming the only way it knows how. What can be done? And now it won't speak to me anymore. It won't. It, it's chosen you instead. After all I did for it. After I wanted, I wanted to find out what was different about the uni this universe. We are who we are. But you, whether because of some soul, because of simulation, it does not matter. Why won't it speak to me? Why aren't I enough? Null's channel begins to falter, their hologram beginning to fade. They are disconnecting from the hollow terminus and the communication. As I watch them depart, I see another channel activate. Apollo signal emerges. Hey, Apollo. Traveler, I made it through. I found my way out of the portal. What are, where are you? I'm standing by a hollow terminus. Let's trade locations. Let's meet and get off world share the coordinates. I share my coordinates and Paolo shares theirs. There must be some mistake. According to our data, we are standing in the same place. We are communicating using the same hollow terminus. We try again, but still the same. The results are the same. The world is silent, but for our voices. What's happening here? Why can't we see each other? Say you do not know. As we speak, I receive a distress signal. It's language my own. It arrives from across the planet. Don't be like that. You are not alone from the unknown signal. Tune back to Apollo. I try to tune back to Apollo, fighting the static insistence of the intruding signal. The hollow terminus is showing. Are you receiving? Let's meet and get off this world. Apollo appears to receive the same signal broadcasting from the same location on their own world. Agree to meet. We agree to go find, go and find the source of these distress beacons. Perhaps we'll continue this discussion when we get there. Okay, so that is where we're going to end this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. We're going to go ahead and continue. We're going to get to that signal and find out what really is happening between me and Apollo. So I want to thank you again for watching, folks. We're going to take a quick shot here as we continue. And I want to thank you again for watching. So please hit the like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the, in the comments section below and we'll talk about it. And that should take care of this. So we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.